Welcome back to your digital dose of art. It's my pleasure today to introduce you to some of the changes that we've made in the permanent collection and to invite you to come out and see for yourself the changes that we've made. Today I'm introducing Marilyn Boyson's Four Seasons. This work for me is just absolutely captivating in its beauty, but also its haunting, mysterious appeal. The Four Seasons have long enchanted artists and writers who have romanticized their moods and cycles. We compare our own bodies to the expansive sweep of Mother Earth's Four Seasons. Marilyn meticulously selected a diverse array of feathers, exotic woods, and natural materials with which to represent the awesome powers of nature over the course of a single year. As we think of the masks we must wear today, both for health reasons, but also our social masks, we perhaps owe our various guises to the variety of identities that we have found in Mother Nature. This is a Chinese mother of pearl folding screen made sometime during the 1950s. This work of art deserves our attention on two accounts. Carved mother of pearl is iridescent with color and skillfully executed. The story reaches back to simpler times when handmaidens help dress aristocrats for a social event. But it, it is the second fact of this handmade folding screen that reinforces our first point. This work of art was specifically selected by John Parrish, the good friend of Eleanor and John Mitchell. Parrish was an Illinois State Senator, and he was also a well-known art collector. Parrish had an exceedingly good eye for quality and aesthetic craftsmanship. Parrish's personal collection helped found this museum as well. Around the gallery are Parrish's Asian ivories, the languorous watercolor by Alice Smith, and of course the early Andrew Wyatt that Parrish purchased in 1941. This folding screen caught John's eye in the San Francisco Art Gallery, and he purchased it specifically for the museum in 1973. This lovely painting by Alexander Cruz bears our close scrutiny. Cruz was an accomplished painter who knew the ins and outs of modeling form with color and tonal values. Cruz emphasizes the importance of form with his title, Woman in Green. The setting is simple. We look out the same window as the woman. It is a rural, not an urban scene, as was more common with Cruz. In 1906, this kind of subject matter, that is, painting a regular person, was still fairly novel. Typical of Cruz's training with Ashcan artists Robert Henry and George Bellows, he paints everyday people. Subsequent generations of artists who have the freedom to paint whatever they like owe a thanks to the early 20th century Ashcan artists. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you soon.